I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and this is your first look at the Samsung Galaxy Stellar for Verizon. Now, the best thing about this phone is that it is free, but this is not a junk heap phone that they're just giving you. It actually has quite a few features and amenities. First of all, it's got 4G LTE. Second, it runs Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on here. It's got some extra software thrown in as well. One thing I really love about this phone is the new menu button here. Samsung has had a menu button in the past, but now it's the Google icon. Another interesting feature here is the ability to switch over from the standard ice cream sandwich mode to a much simpler starter mode. Other phones have this too, like the Pantech Flex for AT&T. The phone's design is very familiar. It's black, glossy, slick to the touch, slips into pockets. It's a little bit thicker than some of the high-end phones we're seeing. Still comes into less than half an inch, but it's going to look a lot thicker if you're seeing some of the slimmer phones. There's a micro SD expansion slot here. You'll also find four gigabytes of memory on board. There's a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back. Megapixel resolution isn't very high, but outdoor shots are very good. However, there's no flash, so the indoor shots were variable and some of them were pretty poor. There's also a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front that's good for video chats. Processing speed is also pretty good. There's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor on board. The price, as I mentioned, is $0. That's with a new two-year service agreement. Overall, this is a very solid phone, especially for beginners, and the price tag of $0 sweetens the deal. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt. You can find the full review of the Samsung Galaxy Stellar on CNET.com.